day. Yes. An officer who served in your office who then dies mysteriously with a gunshot to the head. We haven't heard any arrests. We haven't had any updates from government on what happened to Yegon, an officer in your office. The officer Tenei was a dedicated young man who worked in my office with many other officers. When the murder happened, there was drama, you know, with CCTV cameras and stories and big stories. And an impression was, they tried to create an impression that uh, people in my office had something to do with it. I have seen KTN trying to run a story there about, oh, you know, what happened to this officer. Let me tell you, Linus. Very categorically. I have told the IG and his officers that they must get to the bottom of that story. Whether it is murder, whether it is assassination, or whatever it is that, uh, that happened. And you know, things happen. I saw the other day an officer killing the wife and killing himself, right? A police officer. So, so there are many uh, incidences that happen, but it is up to the police to investigate and get to the bottom without drama, you know, without unnecessarily creating politics around it. Well, when you make reference to that incident of police officer shooting the wife and self dead, you're not, a, you're not suggesting can I committed suicide? I have no suggestions. I am not an investigating officer. I am, I'm just putting the cards on the table that uh, it's up to the police to investigate. If the family is watching tonight, yes. what do you want to say to them? The fam I, have, I have been very forthright with the family. In fact, I, was, I got to learn that uh, that officer is somehow related to one of our ministers, right? Uh, who is a very close friend of mine. And I have been very clear to the family. I think some people have been trying to sell theories to the family. Of course, for political reasons. Oh, you know, maybe the deputy president knows, maybe the deputy president's office knows. I want to tell the family straight to their eyes that as much as they want to get to the bottom of what happened to Kene, so do I. And so do many other Kenyans who believe in justice and believe in fairness and believe in ensuring that no life is lost in the manner in which the life of Kene was lost. And Deputy President, we end it there. Thank you. We want to thank you.